Seed must be sown in order to produce. Luke chapter 8 verses 11 to 15. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, who believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away. Now the ones that fell among thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out and are choked with cares, riches and pleasures of, this, of life and bring no fruit to maturity. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. As we continue this week to consider the parable of the sower and draw insights from this parable that Jesus uh, in essence said is the parable of all parables saying that if you understood this parable and were able to draw the insights contained in this parable then you will understand all the other parables of the kingdom the second insight that we draw from this parable is that the seed must be sown in order to produce the seed of course as we saw as Jesus explained is the word of God now the word of God has to be sown in Mark 4 and verse 14, Jesus said, the sower sows the word. You see, as long as the word of God uh, is just left aside, uh, maybe just neglected and not read and not deposited in our hearts, it is there, it has the potential to produce, it's been designed to produce, but it will not produce. Because for the seed to produce, it must be sown into our hearts. For God's word to produce in your life, it has to be sown into your heart. You see, uh, the, we can have numerous copies of the Bible lying around at home. It's like a farmer having numerous bags of seeds lying around in his barn. Uh, they will not multiply, they will not produce. He's got to take the, those bags of seeds, get out onto the field, and he's got to sow the seed into the ground. In a similar way, we've got to make the time and the effort to take the Word of God and sow it into our hearts. We sow the Word of God by hearing the Word and by meditating in that Word. So there is a process by which the Word of God gets deposited into our spirit, into our heart, causing that Word to release the potential that it contains. You see, the Word of God is filled with the power of God. As we said, it is designed to produce. It has the potential, God's potential in it to produce. Every promise of God has been designed to produce the promise in itself. So that seed has to germinate in our hearts. We've got to deposit it in our spirits, water it, protect it. Uh, uh, with time, that seed begins to germinate, so to speak, in our spirit, and it begins to release the power of God, the life-giving potential that it contains in order to fulfill the promise that that word carries. Remember, the seed must be sown for it to produce. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will help us understand and receive this truth. Let this truth grip our hearts, Lord, that every promise in the Bible has a potential to produce in our lives but we have to receive that word, that seed has to germinate in our spirit in order to release its life-giving power and bear fruit in our lives. Give us the grace to be diligent so that we can sow the seed of God's word into our hearts so that it will produce in our lives. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.